The chapter starts with a little boy crying over his father's dead body. The saintess looked at the crying boy and reached toward him to console him. The child angrily pushed her hand away while saying that he should get out of there every day. She pretends to work hard to protect them, but when the goblins came, she was nowhere to be seen. The child yelled at her saying that she was a bad person. She tried to apologize, but all the people around her started mocking her saying that they don't want her apology if she can't protect them what kind of saintess she was. These crude words hit her deeply and she was shocked to her core. Hearing all these remarks, she felt sick to the stomach and just sat on the ground depressed. Looking at this scene, the mommy dragon was quite pleased. He said that Lin Tian actually did it. According to her, she didn't know that without even facing her directly, she can turn the human saintess into a defeated broken person. She remarked that her spirit is totally destroyed now. She was really looking forward to meet our Jiga Chad boy. The scene then changes to the small village of the goblin tribe. Our boy was walking heroically with both hands in his pockets. All the goblins yelled that the boss is back. He asked a goblin named Gabi about the task he had assigned him. He wanted to know if it got taken care of or were there any complications. The goblin replied saying that everything went smoothly. They raided the city and bought back plenty of treasures and prisoners. He pointed toward the cage with some sexy ladies in it while saying that some of them even surrendered to save their lives and came as their prisoners. He also mentioned that according to his orders, they also sent a cart of gold to carry and escorted her outside the city along with her family. Hearing this, our boy praised the goblin and granted him permission to prioritize the bothering medical creatures before other goblins. According to our Jiga, Chad Carrier was the only one who believed in him when he was weak in his previous life and now by sending her away from this place, he considered his debt paid. He thought that after the destruction of the city, the sword Saintess will definitely be completely broken down. He then traveled to the Dragon Island. While entering the cave of Dragon Mother, he thanked her for her assistance. The Dragon Mother started walking toward him while saying that she heard the Saintess has fallen ill and she couldn't even get out of her bed. She thought it was really gratifying to see her in that state. Our goblin boy then asked the Dragon Mother to continue sending dragons to the city to harass her even more and maintain the pressure. Hearing this, the dragon mommy then lustily bent toward our boy and said that she should be compensated for this as flying back and forth every day is exhausting for her. Our boy was about to say something, but the dragon mommy instantly grabbed him and went straight for a lip kiss. He was stunned by this action. The dragon mommy then declared that she won him as her reward. Our boy couldn't believe what he was hearing. He asked her again that why is she joking with him. By this time, our goblin boy was on the ground and the dragon mommy was leaning on top of him in a very seductive position. She declared that she don't mind if he got the dragon mother's belly swollen. Hold on a second. Things are progressing too fast. Our goblin boy is getting all the girls from all the races, and all of them are bussy ones. Well, at least someone is living their life to the fullest. The dragon mommy then insisted, saying that if he refused, she will be very upset. Well, our goblin boy wasn't going to refuse, and we know that for sure. He then explained to the dragon mother that he was just a little lead goblin, and he thought that he was not worthy of the dragon mother. Hearing this, the dragon mommy was happy and explained that our boy was not an ordinary goblin according to her while clearly in a ready-to-go position. She explained him that she see a potential of the goblin king in him and their ancient dragon race always revered the strength. She continued saying that it's only her nature and she only desired to mate with the strong beings and produce strong offsprings. Hearing all this, our goblin boy said that after this statement, he can only humbly accept. Without missing a beat, the dragon mommy started doing what she wanted to do and a cave got filled with the naughty voices. You know what happened after this? I don't mean to explain much. You all are grown-ups after all and understand pretty much everything. A notification window popped up after our boy finished whatever he was doing. The notification window then congratulated him for unlocking a new achievement. All his stats are increased. His health was now 1900, attack 600, defense 1400. Looking at this, he was happy that he got this many stats for free. Then he thought to sneak away while the dragon mommy was still sleeping. In the next scene, he was riding the dragon back to his little village while thinking that the dragon mother is incredibly strong and it will be troublesome for him if she forcibly kept him with her. The dragon mommy woke up and thought that our Jiga Chad goblin was truly amazing as she has imagined him to be. According to her, he will lead the goblins to create a whole new world. With this, the chapter ends here. I hope that you liked today's video and if you did, hit that like button as today's like goal is 1500 likes. Comment next part down below in the comment section. Also, consider subscribing with the notification bell on to get notified as soon as a new video drops onto the channel. You can also join the channel to support me financially and watch videos before public release. I'll meet you in the next video. Until then, thanks for watching.